The traditional jet engine has helped millions of flights operate safely and efficiently for decades, since its inception in the mid 20th century. With a design optimized for speed and stable operation, jet engines have become the backbone of modern aviation. However, with advancements in technology and increasing demands, the aviation industry is seeking more innovative solutions. In this context, Airbus is leading the way in this revolution with a bold and innovative new engine design, the open rotor engine. How will Airbus and the open rotor engine change aviation? Why is this engine the next level of efficiency and sustainability for aviation? Let's find out. The notable point is that the engine technology Airbus is betting on for the future, seemingly entirely new, is actually based on an old idea once forgotten by the aviation industry. But now, with a fresh, modern makeover, it's back, promising to change the way we fly forever. In the early days of aviation, propeller engines were the go-to choice, simple, durable, and suited to the altitudes and speeds of aircraft at the time. However, as the aviation industry entered an era of higher speeds, greater distances, and the demand for larger capacities, propeller engines began to fall behind. Since the 1960s, turbojet engines have dominated the skies thanks to their aerodynamic design, superior power, and increasingly optimized fuel efficiency. The large fans, housed within engine casings, which helped intake more air while reducing noise, became the standard for modern commercial aviation. But the world has changed. We are now entering a time where the pressures of climate change, rising fuel prices, and the urgent need for green technology are forcing the aviation industry to reconsider its approach. And in this journey, an idea once left behind is being revived. The open rotor engine. Tested in the 1980s under the name Propvin, the open rotor engine was expected to combine the fuel efficiency of a propeller with the power and speed of a jet engine. Although its potential was undeniable, this technology was shelved for two main reasons, excessive noise and the cheap price of fuel at the time, which made airlines uninterested in cost-saving alternatives. However, with advances in materials, aerodynamic techniques, and the global demand for sustainable aviation, the open rotor engine now has a second chance, and this time, everything is in place for its success. Unlike traditional jet engines with smooth, streamlined casings, the open rotor engine does away with the casing entirely, exposing two large sets of counter-rotating blades. The sight of these bare blades cutting through the air is not only reminiscent of a machine from the future, but also symbolizes bold innovation. By drawing in more air with less energy, the open rotor engine achieves exceptional efficiency. The counter-rotating blades not only stabilize airflow and reduce turbulence, but also significantly lower drag. The result? A more powerful, fuel-efficient engine, and one that's kinder to the planet we call home. So, in the details, what difference between the open rotor engine and traditional jet engine? But hold on a second. We're beyond grateful for your unwavering support. If you're as passionate about aviation as we are, let's make this journey unforgettable together. Hit that like button, share the excitement, and subscribe. Let's build an incredible adventure side by side. A massive thank you for being with us. The biggest difference lies in how airflow is handled, something known as the bypass ratio, or the amount of air that bypasses the core of the engine. While modern turbojets already have a high bypass ratio to save fuel and reduce noise, the open rotor engine takes it a step further. It completely removes the engine casing, allowing massive propeller blades to draw in a tremendous amount of air without the need for an outer structure. At the core of this design is a new way of thinking about how to generate thrust more efficiently. In conventional jet engines, only part of the airflow passes through the core to create thrust. The rest is channeled around, aiding efficiency. But in an open rotor engine, nearly all of the air flows through the exposed rotating blades, reducing drag and overall mass, thus boosting fuel efficiency to new heights. However, the breakthrough doesn't just come from removing the lid, it's also in how the blades function. The counter-rotating open rotor technology uses two large sets of blades rotating in opposite directions, one clockwise and the other counterclockwise. This design smooths the airflow, reduces energy loss, and optimizes thrust. The result is a lighter, more powerful, and more fuel-efficient engine that doesn't require increasing the combustion chamber's temperature or pressure, factors that often push modern jet engines to their material limits. Think of a traditional jet engine like a hairdryer, streamlined, enclosed, and steady. 
Now imagine an open rotor engine as a high-powered desk fan with exposed blades. Raw, efficient, and built to move serious air without the constraints of a casing. That's why Airbus sees this technology as a key component of its green aviation strategy. Especially, it is estimated that the open rotor engine could reduce fuel consumption by up to 20%, which would significantly cut carbon dioxide emissions. This comes at a time when the aviation industry is under increasing pressure to meet carbon neutral commitments. With about 2-3% to of global carbon dioxide emissions originating from aviation, Airbus understands that improving engine technology is a key part of achieving sustainable flight. That's why Airbus has teamed up with CFM International, a joint venture between GE Aerospace and Safran, to launch the RISE program, Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines. RISE not only focuses on open rotor engines, but also serves as a platform for testing a variety of new technologies from hybrid electric and clean fuels to hydrogen energy. Another important factor is the placement of the engine. Unlike traditional jet engines, which are typically mounted under the wings, the open rotor engine is better suited for placement behind the fuselage. This position helps optimize aerodynamics, reduce drag, and improve overall performance. Moreover, it opens up possibilities for integration with advanced aircraft designs, such as the blended wing body, where the fuselage and wings merge into a seamless shape, enhancing lift and reducing fuel consumption. The open rotor engine, with its compact and flexible design, is the key to realizing unprecedented aircraft designs. This is not just a revolution in engine technology, but also in the shape and flight efficiency of the future. Airbus is not stopping at theory. They aim to conduct test flights of the open rotor engine on a real aircraft before 2030, a major step forward after decades of this technology being put on hold. Airbus is not a company to follow conventional paths. They're always looking for ways to shape the future of sustainable aviation, rather than just making it faster or cheaper. However revolutionary this technology may be, it is not without its challenges. Will these engines overcome the flaws that led to their previous failure? One of the biggest barriers is noise. When this technology was first tested in the 1980s, the results were clear. It was too loud to be accepted. The sound from the exposed rotors without any casing caused discomfort for passengers and faced strong opposition from airports. Today, with increasingly strict noise pollution regulations, especially in major urban areas, this remains the most concerning obstacle. Not only does it affect passenger experience, but it also threatens commercial operations if it doesn't meet international noise standards. Airbus and CFM are well aware of this and are focusing their efforts on noise reduction technology. From more sophisticated aerodynamic designs for the blades to integrating advanced sound-absorbing materials. While the initial test results are promising, the challenge of making the engine quiet while still efficient has yet to be fully solved. Noise and vibration are not only issues for passenger comfort, but also affect the durability of the aircraft frame and long-term safety. Second, aside from the noise, there is another significant barrier that cannot be overlooked. Safety certification. The open rotor engine has a completely different design and operating mechanism compared to current jet engines, meaning that all evaluation standards will need to be rebuilt almost from scratch. Aviation authorities such as the FAA and EASA will need to assess not only performance, but also the engine's ability to withstand failure, control vibrations, bird strikes, and its performance under extreme weather conditions. This is a complex and lengthy process, and even one failure could delay the entire project by years. Third, the biggest challenge is not the engine itself, but the aircraft that will use it. Open rotor engines are typically designed to be placed behind the fuselage to reduce the noise impact on passengers and improve efficiency. However, most aircraft today have engines mounted under the wings. This means the entire structure would need to be redesigned. The aircraft's center of gravity would shift. The tail would need reinforcement. Control systems would require adjustments and maintenance procedures would be entirely different. Ground logistics, infrastructure, pilot and engineer training, and maintenance teams would all need to be synchronized. These changes are not only expensive, but also carry operational risks in the early stages. Airbus sees this as an opportunity to reshape the future of aviation, but it cannot deny that this is one of the most difficult steps they have ever taken. While aiming for test flights in 2027, 2028, and commercialization in the early 2030s delays remain a real possibility, ranging from technical issues to changes in safety policies. In conclusion,
the open rotor engine is a huge gamble. If successful, it could usher in an era of aviation that is more efficient and sustainable than ever before. But to reach that goal, Airbus must overcome not only technological limits, but also the infrastructure and mindset that have existed for decades. But is the aviation industry ready to make such a profound change? Airbus is not just developing a new type of engine. They are laying the groundwork for the next generation of narrowbody aircraft, expected to replace the iconic A320 in the 2030s. This is not just a technical decision, but a pivotal move for the company's entire product strategy, as the A320 has been one of the most successful aircraft families in aviation history. What makes this project special is the open rotor engine design, a type of engine that lacks the conventional outer casing. Placing the engine behind the aircraft's fuselage not only optimizes airflow, but also allows Airbus to pursue bold designs like the blended wing body, where the boundary between the fuselage and wings is nearly erased. These aerodynamic shapes are expected to significantly reduce drag, thereby improving flight efficiency and fuel savings, key factors in the race towards sustainable aviation. Beyond that, the RISE program that Airbus is developing in collaboration with CFM is not limited to a single aircraft model. It is an open technology platform that can be applied to various types of aircraft, from regional planes, long haul, and cargo transport, to military and even future air taxis. It is this remarkable versatility that makes the open rotor engine technology a strategic asset for the entire aviation industry for decades to come. Of course, not everyone is quick to accept such a distinct design. With its exposed rotor blades, the open rotor engine may seem rougher compared to the sleek appearance of modern jet engines. However, behind this unusual exterior lies a technological leap where superior fuel efficiency, lightweight construction, and a green development focus coexist within a smart design. Ultimately, what gives Airbus confidence in this technology is not its unique look, but the potential it holds. The open rotor engine is not merely an improvement to one part of the aircraft, it is setting new boundaries for the entire aviation industry in terms of performance, design, and future development thinking. What do you think about the future of a new aircraft with unique open rotor engines? Please share your views with us. Thanks for watching. As always, wishing you safe and enjoyable flights.